Good afternoon, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I'm going to try and record Drozen Ot, Aot by Kanjito, which is a puzzle from the Sudoku U series. Um, Kanjito is a um, student in Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards as Puzzles and Paradoxes class, and this is one of the puzzles that was submitted as this set of Sudoku U puzzles. So I'm looking forward to doing it. So I'm going to. Let's have a look. So we've got normal Sudoku rules. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. We already have some 6s. Um, arrows. Digits along an arrow uh, must sum to the number in, in, uh, indicated in the circle from which the arrow emerges. So the sum of those three digits gets put into that circle. The sum of those three digits gets put into that circle. The sum of those three digits get put into that circle. Digits may repeat along arrows if allowed by other rules. So it might be possible that those are the same digit because those digits do not see each other. They're not in the same row. They're not in the same column and they are not in the same box. So it would be fine for those digits to repeat. Uh, crop key pairs. Digits in cells separated by a black dot are in a two to one ratio. Digits in cells separated by a white dot are consecutive. Not all dots are necessarily given. So it would be perfectly fine for those dots to be in a two to one ratio or consecutive. It may happen. It may not. I don't know. We will find out as we solve together. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. This arrow is screaming at me. This arrow is screaming at me. So this could, can't be one, two. Well, what are the possibilities? If this was one, two, this would be a three. If this was two, four, this would be a six. If this was three, six, this would be a nine. If this was four, eight, that'd have to be a 12. So this is three, six or nine. Now it's not six because of Sudoku. And if this was a three, well, these would have to be one, two, and that would have to be a zero because these can't be the same. I can't make these all one. So this is a nine and this becomes three, six. Cool. Now, this cell is also screaming at me. This yell arrow is screaming at me. I'm getting deaf here. So the reason that these are screaming at me is because of the nature of um, black dots, because a black dot must contain a white, uh, a low digit on one side and an even digit on the other, because one doubles to two, two doubles to four, three doubles to six, four doubles to eight. You can't do five doubles to 10 or continue on that line. Or, or along that sequence. But when you've got three, a run of three digits like this, where the two digits at the end see each other, because the digit in the middle must see both because they're always dominoes. There's no way of doing it that they don't. Um, but when you've got a run where they see each other, you've got to be able to make a three run sequence, which could go one, two, I'm ignoring the arrow for now, could go one, two, four, or two, four, eight. But that's all that's possible because three, six, 12 doesn't work. So this has to be two or four, and these digits at the end have to be from one, two, four, eight. But this is a minimum of six because the minimum I can put onto a three cell arrow is one, two, three. One, two, three sums to six. So this has to be a six, a seven, an eight, or a nine. Well, it can't be six because this is a one, two, four, eight run, and it can't be seven or nine because it's on a black dot. So this is the eight, this is the four, this is the two. These now have to sum to eight, so they must contain a one. This four can't be an eight. This has to jump to a two. Because if this was an eight, these two digits would have to sum to zero. So this jumps to a two. This is a one, two, five. This is a one, five pair. Because these two digits have to sum to six, uh, have to sum to six. The only ways to do that are one, five and two, four, but I've already used the two. So this is a one, five. This is a one, two, five arrow. This has to be consecutive with eight and can't be nine. It's seven. So much information. I'm feeling overloaded. Okay, so um, this has been screaming at me since the start. Do I want to go down here or do I want to investigate this more? Because this, I think, is also kind of forced. Because what could this be? Even though this is where I wanted to start, I think I'm going to stay here. Um, because this can't be... This is a run of three consecutive digits because they all see each other. So I can't, these two, I couldn't go from like a three to a four and back to a three. Now, this could be, this can't be one, two, three, because one's not available. Can't be two, three, four. Can't be three, four, five or four, five, six. So this is 
um, from six, seven, eight, and nine. Now, I can't put a six or a nine in the middle. This is a seven or an eight, and the seven is making that the eight. So the eight means these are seven and nine, and the nine makes that the seven and that the nine. These are now two, three, four. No, they're not two, three, four. These are three, four, and six. And the six comes out of there, and the two, well, the four comes out of those. So this is three, six, so three, six, and four. This is so cool. This nine is probably under some pressure now because the only way to do a nine without a one on it is two, three, four. But this can't be a two, a three, or a four. So this can't be a two, three, four arrow. There must be a one on it. But I, I think I need to come down here now. Although, no, I don't. I want to look at this eight arrow. Even though this arrow is where I thought I would start the puzzle when I first saw it, I haven't even got to it yet. And I'm about to not go to it now. Because how do I do an eight arrow? I, this eight arrow is forced. Because if I don't include a one on it, I don't have a two, and this becomes a three, four, five arrow. Three, four, five is 12, not eight. So there must be a one on the arrow, but I can't put a one on the dot because if I put a one on the dot, the one is only consecutive with two and I don't have two. So this is the one. These now have to sum to seven and I don't have one or two available. So the minimum they could be is three, four. This is one, three, four. If this was a three, these would have to be, ooh, hang on. This is, this if this is a three, this can't be the four, so this would be the two. If this is a four, it couldn't be the three, this is a five. So this is a two or a five. But this is three, four, making this six and this three. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a five. Okay, this eight now is, a bit, is, is actually known because I can't use one seven. I could use two six. I can't use three five and four four is blatantly ridiculous. This is two six. This is so much fun. Am I finally coming down to this arrow? Maybe. Let's have a look at it. Because what can these be? I think there has to be a two on this. Because if there's no two on this, what happens? Now this could be... <laughs> Okay, this can't be one, two, because if this was one, two, the one would go here and these would both have to be two. It could be two, four. It can't be three, six, because if this was three, six, that would sum to nine. This would have to be zero, which isn't consecutive with three or six and isn't a Sudoku digit to make that nine. And if it's four, eight, this is 12 and I still have to add something. So this is two, four. So this is six plus whatever that is to get to seven, eight or nine. But if this was, how is this going to work? How is this going to work? This is also seven, eight or nine because the seven can't go down and eight or nine can't be less. So this is seven, eight or nine. This isn't nine. This isn't seven or eight. This is nine. This is eight. Two, four <laughs> is six. And this has to be a three in order to be six plus three is nine. Now, the funny thing about that, of course, is that doesn't resolve this at all. But the three makes that the four and that the three. Four is not consecutive with two. So that's the five, that's the one, and that's the five. So this actually was way less restricted than I thought. But the, this, hang on, I'm broken. No, no, I'm not. How do I do this arrow? These have to, those three cells there have to sum to nine. Well, the minimum I can put in here, it, I can, if this isn't a one, it's a seven, an eight, or a nine. If this was a seven, these would have to sum to two and both be one. That doesn't work. If it was an eight, these would have to sum to one and be one and zero. And if it's a nine, these would have to sum to zero. This is a two. So these two digits here have to sum to seven. Now, I could use one six if it was one, one and six. I can't use two five because the two is down here. I can't use three, four, and then I'm repeating. So this is one and six, and this is a one, two, six arrow. Very cool. One is now up here somewhere. Mm, sure. The two, of course, resolves the four and the two, and this is fully resolved. So one and two, or two is in one of those two, and one is in one of those three. 
Three is up here in one of those two. But this is an eight arrow. An eight arrow needs a one on it. Otherwise, the minimum is two, three, four. And that doesn't work. Two, three, four means is nine. There must be a one on the arrow. That's the one. Now I can't have a two on the arrow. These have to sum to seven. Well, they can't be one, six. They can't be two, five. So they are three, four. Very, very cool. So where do I want to look now? Is it these? One, five, seven. Now there's no seven there. Now there must be a one on this. Otherwise this is a five, seven, which is 12. And this would have to be 12 plus that. So there's a one in here. So there's no one here. So this is either one, five or one, seven. So this is at least seven. And it's on a black dot, so it is an eight because I can't put a black a, a seven or a nine on a black dot because high odd digits have no valid partner. So this is the four. This has to sum to eight. If this is a seven one, I'm already at eight. That doesn't work. There's no seven here. This is the seven. One five is six. In order to get from six to eight, I need another two, which puts two right there by Sudoku because I have four twos looking into box eight. Two. Two can't be in those cells or that cell or that cell. That's a two. These are seven, eight, nine. There is no nine there. Oh, that's an eight because of that seven. So these are seven and nine. So I know what these three digits are. One, three, and eight. If these are one, three, and eight, well, there's no eight in either of those. That's the eight. One, two, three. This is a four, which I could have got from that row. But I'm at this point. This is a pair. Well, that's going to do something because it's one and five. So this is a triple. I've got one, two, three. I don't have a four. I've got five, six. I don't have a seven. I've got an eight. I don't have a nine. So these are four, seven, nine. So this is one or three. It is going to be this nine arrow, isn't it? Because these are one, three, five, and six. So five, hang on, it can't be. No, it's not one, three, five, six. It's one, three, four, five. It's. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, three, five, nine. These are one, three, five, nine. There's no one there. I got that completely wrong, didn't I? So now we're just down to some tricky Sudoku. Six is in one of those two. Four is looking across saying there's no four there. So what is in this row? Five, six, seven, and nine. Well, there's a five, seven, nine here. So this is a naked single. It sees one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, and nine. That is a six. So that's not a six. That's a six, which looks across making that the two and that the six, which looks back to saying that's not the two, that's the two. So in this column, is seven, eight, nine. That's not an eight. So that's a seven, nine pair. That becomes the eight, which means that there's four eights looking into this box with those four eights, and this is an eight. This is a triple, five, seven, and nine. Five for this row has to be in one of those two, so there's no five there. Four is looking across saying there's no four there. That's now a seven, nine pair. That's the four. This triple maybe? One, three, four. There's no four there. So that's the four. This is a one, three pair. And the three is making that the one and that the three. The one makes that the five and that the one. This is now a triple, five, seven, and nine, and there's no nine 
because there's already a nine in column five. That's the nine. The five makes that the seven and that the five, which makes that the nine. Taking the nine out of those, the five, seven looks across, making that the nine and that the seven. Okay, now the nine is looking down, making that the seven and that the nine, which makes that the seven. The seven looks up, making that the five and that the seven. This column seems to be missing, it's eight. So these are five and nine. These, this is where it's going to kick in because I've got one, two, three, and six. The six makes this the three and this the six. So these now have to sum to nine minus three because these have to sum to nine. So these have to sum to six. If this is a three, this would have to be a three. It doesn't work. This has to be one and therefore this has to be a five, which makes this the nine and this the five. The nine and the five look over saying that has to be the three, which makes that the one, which makes that the five, which makes that the nine. The five makes that the one. I don't have a seven in this box. So let's put a seven in. The one looks up making that the three, and that is the solution to Drozen Yelts by Congito. Um, that was really fun. And it took me way too long to get to this arrow, which I knew was going to be constrained, but ended up doing less than I thought. But this was all really cool. I love it. Um, these are just prime examples of what I keep saying, which is puzzles do not need to be diabolically hard in order to have fun logic. Um, yeah, I, I just love this sort of stuff. Just something where you can sit down and go, this is cool fun. I, I like cool fun. This is great stuff. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, I'm deliberately doing shorter videos around now. I'm hoping the puzzles I'm getting for the next series are also kind of short. I asked for them to be um, because I this is a time of the year where everyone is frantically cooking and planning and everything. And I, I, I don't want to start asking people for like 45 to two hours, 45 minutes to two hours of watch time at this time of year. I, you don't got it. So I'm hoping to put out videos around the 20, 25 minute mark. Um, now I am fully aware that the um, uh, Mar the uh, March of the Quads videos are getting long at this time of the year. They're already there for you, but they'll be there up for after Christmas. So um, feel free to you know wait until you've got time to uh, look at those. Thanks everyone for watching, and as always, good luck with your solving.